As of October 2024, the Internet Archive is under siege. It faces a severe data breach exposing 31 million user accounts, coupled with aggressive DDoS attacks that have rendered the site offline. The Archive's open library, which digitizes physical books, has also lost a major lawsuit, risking hundreds of millions in damages. The stakes are enormous because the Archive preserves irreplaceable snapshots of the Internet's history. A hacker group claims responsibility, but there are suspicions of a false flag operation. Despite these efforts, Brewster Kale, the founder, remains committed to maintaining the Archive's mission of preserving knowledge. I have invited web expert, Miss Isabella Dorado, and I will ask her some key questions hoping that her answers will add to our knowledge. Without hesitation, let's begin. Hi Miss Isabella. What is the Internet Archive? Hi again, Laz. Nice to be here. The Internet Archive is a nonprofit organization founded in 1996 by Brewster Call. It archives digital content from the Internet, preserving over 890 billion web pages, images, and media for public access. Its most famous service is the Wayback Machine. What is the Wayback Machine? The Wayback Machine is a service provided by the Internet Archive that allows users to view archived versions of websites at different points in time. It's essential for preserving historical web content, including pages that have been altered or deleted. What happened to the Internet Archive in October 2024? In October 2024, the Internet Archive suffered a major data breach, exposing 31 million email addresses and password hashes. The site was also targeted by sustained DDoS attacks, rendering it offline. A hacker group called Black Meta claimed responsibility. How many users were affected by the data breach? Approximately 31 million email addresses and password hashes were compromised in the breach. Who claimed responsibility for the attack on the Internet Archive? A hacker group calling itself Black Meta claimed responsibility for the attacks. However, there are suspicions that this could be a false flag operation. What are DDoS attacks and how did they affect the archive? DDoS distributed denial of service attacks overwhelm a website with traffic, making it inaccessible. The Internet Archive faced ongoing DDoS attacks, which eventually took the website offline in October 2024. What legal challenges is the Internet Archive facing? The Archive's Open Library Project, which digitizes physical books for lending, was sued by major publishers for copyright infringement. The court ruled in favor of the publishers, and the Internet Archive could face over 600 million in damages. What is Open Library? Open Library is a project of the Internet Archive that allows users to borrow digitized copies of physical books. It operates under a system that allows one digital loan for every physical copy owned. What is the significance of the legal case against the Internet Archive? The lawsuit against Open Library poses a financial threat to the Internet Archive, potentially leading to hundreds of millions of dollars in damages. It also raises concerns about the future of digital lending and book digitization. Who is Brewster Kale? Brewster Call is the founder of the Internet Archive. He is a digital librarian and advocate for open access to knowledge, leading the Archive's mission to preserve Internet history and provide access to information for all. Thank you for the insightful answers, Ms. Dorado. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Okay so, that was all. This is Lazarus from Greece, hope you enjoyed this video, 
If so, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.